Let's simulate the one dimensional linear unsteady state convection equation by using finite volume method. For the domain, we will consider a straight line with a square pulse in it. If we talk about the dou u by dou x term, it helps us move the pulse from one place to the other, but we will not be able to see the smooth motion if we don't add the dou u by dou t term. When we add both the terms, we are able to see the smooth gliding motion of the pulse with a velocity c. If we talk about the working principle of finite volume method, we discretize the domain into small control volumes and make sure that in each of these control volume, we apply the conservation principle. If we talk about the nomenclature, the present cell would be referred to as P, the neighboring cells as capital W and capital E, the interface as small w and small e and we'll follow this for our further derivation. We integrate the governing equation with respect to space and time. Now since this is one dimensional case, the volume here is going to be simply the horizontal distance and when we integrate the time term, this is what we get. If we talk about the integration of the spatial term, we use the Gauss divergence theorem which helps us convert the volume integral to the surface integral which helps us make sure that we balance out the flux and therefore making sure that the conservation principle is applied. When we put everything together, we notice that still something is missing. For this, we apply some schemes or approximation for both space and time. For time, I use the explicit Euler scheme which basically means that I'm using the present to calculate future and for the space I use the upwind scheme which means basically that when I move forward I take the information from behind and calculate what's ahead of me in space. Once I get the final discretized equation I write a code to simulate the motion of the pulse. For the upwind case, surely the pulse moves, there is no oscillations, there is no divergence, the code is stable, but the code surely diffuses a lot. This is a price that we have to pay for stability. And if you want a better solution, you could use a scheme like TVD with min mod limiter to get both stable and an accurate solution. Thank you.